love it here. Welcome to the land of the standing up rocks. Named by the Chiricahua Apache Indians, the monsoons made for a short visit, but the breathtaking scenery was worth it. This national monument comes with free admission, a scenic drive to the top, and a variety of trails. You will see the beauty as the clouds move by and the terrain at Maasai Nature Trail, plus coming at some us. unexpected things to expect right by my when planning your trip to the Chiricahuas. driving through the country, so oh, don't be surprised fire. if you have to suddenly pull over <gasps> for a cow crossing. Right by my feet. <laughs> Coming across some turkeys. Mm -hmm. Little turkey. oh, it's like what, three families. Oh, cute. Oh, they're scared of us. The car. This to me looks like a combination of Zion and rice, but without the people. Now we're here in the summer monsoon season, which is high risk of flooding and flash floods. So we're taking our chances, but this is like beautiful. We don't have anyone in the way of our pictures and videos right now. So you guys are getting to see Chiricahua National Monument in its natural state. This is beautiful. We just pulled into the visitor center and there's like nobody here but the staff and it's starting to sprinkle. I'm going to get my passport stamped but look at this. This is just a little structure so it's wooded it's so beautiful and uh my god i love it here drop and that's why they have these white posts on the side of the road just to keep the road visible for us so we can stay on the lane stay in our lanes the uh, visitor center said to just keep driving and the clouds will break so hopefully we'll get some clear views up towards the top. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a picture of the Maasai Nature Trail and what the view's supposed to look like here from this point. And this is what I'm seeing today. But it's still very beautiful up here. Here's a pattern of the 
the dark skies versus the night lights, and you could see the light pollution pattern. And this was taken in 1999 by National Park Service. Very sad. All of a sudden, the clouds moved, and look, now you could see. Clouds have rolled in. Anyways, let me show you the path and how well they've done it here on Echo Canyon Loop or Maasai Trail. They have labeled everything. There are no handrails. So if you have stability issues or arthritis, you need to be careful. This probably isn't a good trail for you. Or have very solid Hiking six, it's it's probably easy to moderate. You don't have to grip anything to climb up. Maybe in a couple of places. Some high steps right here. And this is where I started this morning. Ah, oh, back to the fog. Okay, so about 20 to 30 minutes later, now look at the view. The clouds have moved. And uh, I'm just heading back down this little trail to show you. Oh, look. The Chiricahuas are one of Arizona's many sky islands. Now these are mountain ranges that rise up from the surrounding desert sea. These pinnacles of standing rocks are a result of the Turkey Creek volcanic eruption, which happened over 27 million years ago. The ash spewed over 1200 square miles and melted together forming these layers of gray rock called rhyolite. Over time, the weathering by ice and water erosion left behind these unique indentations. This national monument was established in 1924 to protect the area and just like the hoodoos of Bryce Canyon, the Chiricahua pinnacles continue being shaped by nature today. Okay, so here's this, um, not a telescope, um, but depending on where you position this, like here, you can see as far as the Saguaro National Monument near Tucson, bringing it here, the skyline across the canyon. Of course, it's very foggy. We can't see a whole lot, but this is really interesting. I've been in this area for an hour and it started in the fog and then took the one trail down. Had clarity. We actually got clear skies up at the top, the side point, the lookout point. So really good timing. We were just very lucky because the clouds are rolling in and rolling out. And now I end up at the car in the same kind of fog. So this worked out perfectly. If you come up here, it's foggy, the clouds are here. Wait it out a bit, just as the ranger told us. Wait a few minutes, the clouds will roll by, 
and it will just open up these beautiful pockets of views. So we left the Maasai Point Trailhead and Trail, and now we're doing the Echo Canyon. Um, so we're going up a little higher. Maybe, maybe we'll get some breaks from the clouds. Who knows? There's like nobody here. Um, what we did is started at the Visitor Center. We stayed on the Red uh, Trail, which is paved road, um, narrow and foggy. We did the Maasai Point and we're at Echo Canyon right now. Visibility is still very low. Clouds are moving through. We're going to just head back after this, back towards Visitor Center and maybe stop if we have some breaks in the clouds and then hit up the um, Faraway Ranch and whatever else we could see. Back to Visitor Center. What she did tell me at the visitor center is that if you, well, I'm in a sedan, so she, we were advised to just stay on this red trail. Um, maybe Jeeps, like Jeeps 4x4s, can do these other trails because they're not going to be paved. Um, however, with the rain that they've been getting here, and pending rain this afternoon, which might come down heavy, um, even this may not be advised for uh, Jeeps and 4x4s, but I'm not sure. If you've done this in the rain and monsoon, put a comment below and let me know, because I'd love to know um, what that looks like, and if, especially if you've posted a YouTube video, I'd love to see that. I've been waiting in the car, maybe about 10 minutes. Um, rain's coming down. And we're trying to figure out if we should just keep driving back to Visitor Center or wait it out. So we waited a bit, and now we can see some of the rocks, the bouncing rocks. So maybe we'll get to see Echo Canyon. Oh. So we are, all right, we're heading back. We're just not gonna wait out Echo Canyon to clear. The rains are kind of moderate. And we're just gonna head back to the visitor center, get whatever souvenirs, and then see if we can get back to the vineyards um, before those roads flood. No more rain. We just, it, the rain is so spotty up here um, in the Chiricahua Mountains. You really, really can't tell what's up ahead until you just drive through it. Okay, made it to Faraway Ranch. Apparently it's closed. Um, because of renovations, um, the visitor center said they are uh, removing some asbestos material and putting in safer materials. So we get to walk around and look at the outside. In 1886, the Chiricahua Apaches led by Cochise and Geronimo surrendered to the government. Two years later, Swedish immigrants Neil and Emma Erickson settled here and built their homestead. Their eldest daughter Lillian and her husband Ed Riggs turned the home into a guest ranch. They built trails and created a true destination for nature lovers. Today the home stands as a historic site within the park. We bumped into Ben, the maintenance ranger, who gave us a little more insight on the history. One bedroom, you know, uh, rock, and, rock and mud hut, and then from there he built a bigger cabin. He built a bigger, you know, uh, wood cabin. Then he started, he kept adding on, he kept adding on, and by the, because originally this house, this house, when he uh, homesteaded here, was around 1890, 1890-something. I don't remember the exact year right now, but it was like in the 1800s when he was, when he retired from the, uh, from the, from the army, from the United States Army, he was stationed here at Fort Bowie. 
This felt like the southwest version of the Costa Rican cloud forest. Getting out of the city and soaking in the fresh rainy air was healing. The Chiricahua National Monument will be redesignated as the Chiricahua National Park if the bill passes in Congress. This would attract more visitors, so now is the time to visit if you prefer to avoid crowds. This Arizona gem has so much to offer and it's rich in biodiversity and history. If you're looking for travel tips and healthy destinations, please subscribe and post a comment or question. Thanks for spending your valuable time with me and see you in the next one.